Hi friends! Today we will be learning whole numbers and various properties related to whole numbers that make their calculation easy. So let's start. Let's learn what are natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. The numbers that come naturally when we start counting anything, for example 1, 2 and 3 and so on are called natural numbers. As in Natural numbers start from 1, and the numbers that start with 0, or if we add 0 to the group of numbers known as natural numbers, the numbers are known as whole numbers. Now next are integers. We will be learning on integers in our next section. But they are the numbers that have whole numbers as well as negative numbers. For now, we will be learning about whole numbers and a lot of operations for whole numbers. Let's repeat. We learned that natural numbers are the counting numbers. They come naturally when we count something and they start with 1. And whole numbers is a list of numbers which we have 0 to the list of natural numbers. Next we have integers. They are the numbers that have whole numbers as well as negative numbers. So natural numbers start with 1, whole numbers start with 0, and integers start from, well, there is no starting number for integers. In all the three lists, as in the list of natural numbers, lists of whole numbers, and the list of integers, you cannot specify the ending number or the last number. Let's first understand various properties of whole numbers. It helps us to do calculations. First property is known as closure property. Now what is this property? Let's learn. Take two whole numbers. Any two whole numbers. Take 6 and 8. Now add them. The answer is 14. Is 14 a whole number? Yes, 14 is a whole number. Now take two other whole numbers, 6 and 6. The sum is 12. Now is 12 a whole number? Yes, it is a whole number. Again, take two more numbers, 0 and 15. Add them. What is the sum? Now is the sum a whole number? Yes, the sum is 15. It is a whole number. So we can say that the sum of any two whole numbers is always a whole number. This is known as the closure property. As in whole numbers are closed under addition. You can add any two whole numbers and you will get a whole number. This is called closure under addition. Now let's see what are the results for closure under subtraction, multiplication and division. Let's see subtraction. Take two whole numbers and subtract them. Say 8 minus 7. You get 1. Is 1 a whole number? Yes, 1 is a whole number. Now subtract 8 from 7. Will the answer be a whole number? No, because the answer is less than 0. And whole numbers start with 0. The answer is not a whole number. Now subtract 5 from 3. Will the answer be a whole number? No, the answer will be less than zero. So we can say if we subtract two whole numbers, the result and number may not be a whole number. So whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. Now it is time to learn about multiplication. Take two whole numbers and multiply them. Say three and four. The answer is 12. 12 is a whole number. 5 and 5. Answer is 25. 25 is a whole number. 6 and 8. Answer is 48. 48 is a whole number. So we can say that whole numbers are closed under multiplication. Let's learn about division. 8 divided by 2. The answer is 4. 4 is a whole number. Now take two other whole numbers, say 30 and 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6, 6 is a whole number. 100 divided by 25, answer is 4, 
The answer is a whole number. Now divide 56 by 12. 56 divided by 12 is 4.66, as in the answer is not a whole number. Again, let's take another example, 7 divided by 3. The answer will be 2.33. Again, the answer is not a whole number. So we can say that whole numbers are not closed under division. What is 2 divided by 0? We say that it is not defined. Why do we say that? Because division is repeated subtraction. For example, if we divide 9 by 3, it means we repeatedly subtract 3 from 9 until you get 0. And you can subtract 3 from 9 3 times, after which you will get 0. So this is why we say 9 divided by 3 is 3. But anything divided by 0 means subtracting 0 from that number until you get 0. That is not possible. You can subtract 0 from 2 any number of times, and you will never get 0. This is why any number divided by 0 is undefined. So this was all about the closure property. We now know whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication, but whole numbers are not closed under subtraction division. I repeat, whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication, as in add any two whole numbers and you will get a whole number. Multiply any two whole numbers and you will get a whole number. But if we subtract two whole numbers, the answer may or may not be a whole number. The same is with division. Divide any two whole numbers, the answer may or may not be a whole number. So this was the closure property. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!